Hello, I welcome you all. The three balls each weigh 0.5 pounds and have a coefficient of restitution of 0.85. If ball A is released from rest and strikes ball B and then ball B strikes ball C, determine the velocity of which ball after a second collision has occurred. Okay. So determine the velocity of which ball after a second collision has occurred. So we have uh, the balls slide without friction. So we have the first ball that strikes B and then later on B strikes C. So we have to find the velocity of A after it strikes B and the velocity of B with it strikes C and the velocity of C as well. So of course this problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics 14th edition by RSC Hibela. So we have this ball here, okay. And it is falling, sliding from this particular height. It has some uh, potential energy here converted to kinetic as it falls. So we can find the speed when it reaches this lowest level here, right? And we expect it to slide at the same speed. So let's find this. So first, first, let's find uh, the uh, velocity of ball A. All right. So here we're going to say using, using uh, the conservation, conservation of energy. So we have uh, T1 plus B1 is just equal to T2 plus V2. And T is just equal to half MB squared. And V is just equal to VG plus VE. All right. So it is released from rest. Therefore, it means this one here is zero. Okay, from rest. All right. What else? And also, uh, B one E is also equal to zero. B one E and um, B two. E and uh, just V2, uh, both of them, okay, okay, so V2E equal to V2G, all these are just going to be equal to zero, okay, so let's write this then, so here, the only thing we have is potential energy, so we'll say W A H, and this is equal to uh, the kinetic energy M A V A two squared. Okay. Yeah. Right. One here, and then this one here. Right. And therefore, uh, our VA is just going to be equal to, of course, we can write this. We can write this as MAGH, MA, okay, all right, so. Of course, let's say this is our reference here. This is our reference for our velocities in this direction in the x. So once we've done this, therefore, our VA2 just becomes square root of 2GH, right? Okay. Our 2GH. 
right? And our h here, our h is equal to three, is equal to r, which is equal to three. And our g, which is acceleration due to gravity is 32.2. And our VA2 therefore is the square root of 2 by 32.2 uh, by 3. And this is equal to minus 2 by 32.2 by 3. Then square root of that, this just becomes a 13.8996. Okay. Right. So this is our acceleration, I mean our velocity. 2 by 32.2 .2 by 3, square root of that, 13.8996. Alright, so now let's move on now. We start now calculating velocities after impact we calculate the velocities after impact i just want to create a bit of space here like so like so like, like so all right so now let's say here impact, uh, impact A and B. All right. So we are going to use conservation of momentum. So using conservation of momentum A and B, we'll have A, M, like so, plus M, B, V, B, 1. This is equal to m a v a 2 plus m b v b 2 we know that our v b 1 is equal to 0 and m a is just equal to m b okay and uh, m a 1 is just equal to 13.8996 right so we can do this 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 and then of course this is zero because vb1 is equal to zero and um finally we are going to have the following equation 13.8996 uh equals to va2 plus vb2 this is our equation one and we've been told that e is just equal to so vb2 minus VA2 divided by VA1 minus VB1. And here we are assuming that VB2 is greater than VA2. Our E is point, point 0.85. Our VB1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we'll have 8.5 is equal to vb2 minus va2 divided by r uh, 13.8996 and therefore our uh, vb2 itself will just be equal to 13.8996 by 8.5 and this we get 11.81 or seven which is then plus V A two solving the two equations we'll have thirteen point eight nine nine six equals to um V A two plus 11.8147 plus VA2. 
and therefore our VA2 is just going to be equal to um, 13.8996 minus 11.8147 divided by 2. This gives us a 1.0425. This is feet per second and it's going in this direction. And then our VB2, so we have 104, 1.0425 plus, by using this equation here, plus 11.8147 this gives us a 12.8572 this is feet per second okay So 1.0425 plus 11.8147, 4.8572. So we are done with the first part. Let's move on to the second part. All right. So impact here, that's B plus C. So what do we have? We are using the conservation of momentum. So we'll have MB VB1 plus MC VC1 is equal to MB VB2 plus MC VC2. And then we know that, of course, this part is zero because VC1 is equal to zero. And we do have these that are equal. And we know that our VB1 here is just equal to uh, 12.8572. Then we have 12. Twelve eight five seven two. This is equal to VB two plus VC. This is equation one. Then we do have E here, which is equal to VB VC two. So say E is equal to VC two minus VB2 divided by VB1 minus VC1. Okay, so here we are assuming our VC2 is greater than VB2. Then this becomes 8.5 equal to, of course, this is zero. Because it's stationary, this is zero. This is zero zero so this one is a uh, vc2 minus vb2 divided by vb1 which is just a 12.8572 therefore our vc2 is just equal to 12.8572 by 0.85 this becomes 10.9286 plus VB2. Solving, solving the two equations, we have 12.8572 VB2 plus 10.9286 plus VB2. Uh, my VB2 here is just going to be equal to 12.8572 plus 
minus 10.9289 eight six divided by two this gives me a zero point nine six four three feet per second and this in this direction vc2 which is this equation here um it's point nine six four three plus uh, ten point nine two eight six. This we get eleven point eight nine two nine. Okay. All right. So now. What is the final solution? Um, the final solution is this. So we'll have the following as um, the velocities of each ball after the collusion. So in the first case, we'll have VA. So our VA is just going to be equal to one point. 0 0.0425 feet per second and it's going in this direction and then we do have VB which is equal to 0 0.9643 this is feet per second it's also going in this direction then we have VC which is equal to 11.8929. All right. I think this is about it. Uh, we found the velocities. These are the velocities after the second collusion. So I hope this particular video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up. I like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.